Yo, what's up guys, your boy Kyojo here, and today we're going to be doing some League of Legends. Don't know why I said it like that. On, no, on Summoner's Rift, obviously, going to be playing top lane as Poppy, and I don't know. We have a, we have a really, really weird jungle team. Um, he was, like, I have a screen shot of it. Like, I have proof that this guy was first. I have proof that this guy was first. We're gonna have two jungles, no. Screer talk play support please. Okay, hopefully this guy's friendly in lane. Hopefully he wants to do a little dance or something. I'm gonna have Poppy doing a dance. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully does that. Yeah, Screatox was late. Screatox was late. And is this Screatox? No, this is Kak this is Kakalinda. I don't mind helping her out. I don't mind helping her out, but I am playing against Zin Zounds as top lane, which I don't really mind about. What am I gonna build first with Poppy? Probably gonna build a Sunfire Cape first. Sunfire Cape, then I'll go into Iceborne Gauntlet. Um, and then we'll just build from there. I'm gonna move that actually just pop slot number three, but um yes, you can probably tell by the title. I actually went to see Slipknot yesterday. Now, a lot of you guys probably don't even know what Slipknot is, who they are. You know, Slipknot, what, what's that? It's a rock band, a heavy metal rock band. Um, they actually came to my, um, you know, my town, um, you know, my city yesterday, and I went to see them. Um, and it was incredible. <laughs> um, I'd only ever been to one concert before, and that was... Um, Linkin Park, I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of them, if you have, that's who I went to see before. Um, however, this time I went to see, um, you know, Slipknot, who are considerably heavier, okay, a lot, lot heavier than, um, you know, Linkin Park. However, it was, um, it was really an experience. It was, yeah, it was kind of crazy, to be honest, like, how mental the show actually was, was ridiculous. <laughs> Like, I was my first time I'd ever been in like the pit at a music, you know, concert sort of thing. Because when I went to see um, what was it Lincoln Park? I was um in the seats. Um, as for this, I was definitely not. I was um, you know, in you know, as I said, like in the main sort of the pit area. So um, I w it was very very round. Well, as you can imagine, from a heavy metal sort of rock concert, it was very crazy down there. Now I didn't really know what to expect. I thought it was going to be a mental. But it was it was it was worse than I thought it was going to be. To be honest, it was it was really nutty. I'm not even going to chase for that because I don't want to die. Yeah, but um, yeah, it was it was absolutely crazy. I don't know if I'd ever do it again. That's the thing. Like, I have to realize when I say it was crazy, I mean literally. From well, I'll, I'll actually I'll tell you guys the, everything that happened because I mean I'm playing a game of League of Legends. So that's going to take a while to do. And, um, yeah, so basically, what happened, I fin well, finished school an hour early because, uh, you know, my lessons and the way they panned out. So that was awesome. You know, got out of lesson, um, you know, out of school. I had a really good time, thankfully. Like, 1.40, I think I finished. Came home. I literally sort of, like, ran home a little bit. Actually left school, like, five minutes early, so that was awesome. Got home. And, you know, got changed, went for a quick little toilet break sort of thing. Um, and, um, yeah, so that was awesome. Oh, nearly died then. Just gonna keep running. This guy's gonna try and chase me. Can't really do anything to me. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have to back. Did I? I didn't even get into the bush. Damn it. Anyway, but, um, yeah, so I went, you know, came home, got changed and everything, you know. All that good stuff, I really shouldn't have dove in then. And then, you know... Got well, I had to run to sort of get like the bus because I wasn't sure what time I was gonna leave exactly. And luckily, I caught the bus to go in. Met with my sister then because me and my sister went, and we um yeah, we went to go grab something to eat. Um, you know, in you know in this in the town, so that was awesome. Went to grab food. It was really good food. We went to um, a place called Shake Shack. I think they have one of these in London. I think they're a thing in America as well. Not too sure. If you do see one, I definitely recommend going to them because man. It was, it was really good. Really good. They do like, you know, well, I had a burger, I had the, um, the smoke shack, which is, um, you know, bacon, bacon and cheeseburger, really awesome. 
really, really tasty. Um, and also have a chocolate milkshake because they do shakes because it's a shake shack, as you'd imagine. So, um, yeah, that was really, really fun. Um, you know, the food, the food was absolutely brilliant. And this is a cheesy fries, which I love cheesy fries. So I just, oh, I had so many of them. So that was good. And then, you know, well, basically, we think we finished eating around, you know, half three-ish, give or take. And then we obviously had to queue for the, um, you know, the show, because the show started at 9. No, it didn't start at 9. If it did, I'd have cried. It started at, like, um, 7, half 7-ish. Seven well, it said the doors would open at 7, but the doors opened at, like, half 6 in the end, which was nice. It was nice that they let us in a little bit early, because um, it was actually crazy, the, the, the wind and the weather. Like, it wasn't raining really you know it was it was fine in that sense the bad thing was it was so so um so windy that like it was uh it was absolutely mental like it felt like it was probably mm, two but between two and minus two degrees like the temperature was just insane we were in that for three hours me and my sister Keep in mind, all I was wearing was like my t-shirt, you know, my jeans, and just like a thin sort of hoodie thing, because I was thinking we'd be able, you know, have to carry it around inside there. Um, which didn't end up being the case in the end, thankfully. Um, but yeah, it was um, it was quite mental. It was quite mental. <laughs> I just get knocked up there. You're certainly going to do anything against me, mate. Also got my alt there. Just going to alt you up there. Wait for my cooldowns. Mm, can I hit you? No, damn it! Yeah, he's gonna get me. I'm gonna try and pop you away there. Will I get you with the pop afterwards? Nah, nah. I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate that one. I probably should have. Oh, I should have. I should have targeted him mainly. Then that could have been good. But um, anyway, getting back on topic here. Um, yeah. So I went. You know, we were queuing up for ages. They let us in at six, thankfully. And all like, as I said, me and my sister, we both had our jackets, and she had like a little handbag with her and what have you. You know. Um. So that was all good, we got in, they um, had to give us like a ticket, which I kept in my phone then. It's then when we, well like after the show we can go collect our bag and stuff, you know, as long as we had the right ticket, which we did, so that was all good. So, went inside, say about half, well, just ten past six-ish we probably got in there I'd say. And the first act, because there was two supporting acts, we're going to start at like um, seven. Started getting in and um, if you guys have seen Slipknot before or know of Slipknot, you'll pro you know, you'll know of um, Clown. Probably he has like a clown mask on because you know his nickname is clown um, So yeah, he had like a clown mask on but um, there's a me member of the audience You know before the show started who had um, a clown mask on himself like the you know like a replica sort of one So he had that on and like he this guy was pretty drunk already the show hadn't as the show hadn't started But he was already off his face like completely smashed and drunk so he was just going around being kind of a bit of an idiot, which is annoying to say the least. I don't know, he was just having a good time, but he, you know, it was being really annoying to everyone else. Um, but yeah, so that sort of happened at the start. It just, you know, wasn't too bad. It was a bit annoying, um, but you know, sort of deal with it. <laughs> you know, it wasn't too big of a problem in the end. So, um, you know, he was being a bit of an idiot, so... You know, it wasn't too bad though. So the new, um, well, the first act started to play, um, and they were actually, you know, they were okay. A band called Sixth from the UK, I do believe. Um, and yeah, they were okay actually. Ooh, could I go after these guys right now? Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. But um, it's yeah, so this band called Sixth. Um, you know, Sixth played first, and you know they were okay, as I said. Um, the main singer though looked had like sort of like a um. Like a sort of like a thin sort of like Egyptian sort of style like flannel shirt I suppose I don't know it's really it's really weird to sort of describe it and he had dreadlocks on and like when like you know double bass like when the you know the sort of like the rock music started getting like really fast and stuff he looked like he was having a seizure or something which is kind of weird but I mean he was feeling the music I mean it was kind of funny kind of cool um bit nutty <laughs> um, so that was uh you know that was an experience you know listening to them then they had the band, which you guys probably would have heard of, Suicidal Tendencies. They're a bit more known than Sick. I think Sick, they're only like a small band. But these guys were from, I think they're from America, Long Beach, I think. Long Beach, Cali. Um, and they were okay. They were okay. They weren't too bad. 
be quite entertaining. Um, and yeah, let's ult you up there, mate. Let's get this. Oh, you're gonna try? Oh, he flashed. He flashed away. I'm happy with that. I can live with that. I burn my ult for that. That's not a problem. That's perfect. But um, so yeah, they played and they were okay. And by this time, it was sort of like you know coming up to nine o'clock ish. And I was like, oh okay, you know, twenty to nine. It'll probably won't be too long now. You know, just have to do a quick change to the set, probably, to, you know, make it, you know, appropriate for Slipknot to come on. And then we'll all be good. Uh, little did I know, like, 40 minutes, 30 minutes later, it took ages for them to get the set ready. That's when Slipknot finally came on. Um, and, well, I didn't mention, I got, me and my sister, we got super close to the front. That was sort of our plan, as close to the front as we could. Um, which we really did. We got into, like, a great, great position. Um, literally... Like, two people from the barrier, which is awesome. So, you know, we got pretty close. Um, you know, which was obviously our goal. Um, and that was, that. you know, it was really worth getting, you know, getting this, you know, as close as we did to the, um, to the, to the stand. And, oh, I'm gonna get dove here. I'm flash into here. She won't even check here. Oh, no, 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 don't hit me. Stop that. Stop that now. No, stop it, stop it. No, I don't want this. Could I turn on Cat? I could help my teammate here if he want to. If you want to go for this, I can help if she slows it down enough. No, I'll just recall. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Um, so yeah, you know, that happened. We were like super, we were two people from the front, okay? And me and my sister, we're not big people, we're pretty small, okay? You guys may not know, but I'm like, hmm. I want to say 5 to 7, I haven't actually measured my height in ages, so I may be a lot less than that. I probably am a lot less than that. But, you know, I'd say, like, I'm, I'm at least, um, I'm like 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, 5'7", five, maybe, you know, around that sort of range. Um, so, you know, as I said, not the biggest. My sister's even a little bit shorter than me. So we're there trying to get as close to the front as we can. You know, we've got a good space, good place. We can see it pretty well. Um, you know, the support acts would go in, you know. And the crowd was getting kind of hyped. It was pretty decent. Um, a lot of them were fans of ST as well. You know, suicidal tendencies. So, you know, they were sort of getting pretty hyped for them. Um, I've never really heard of them before. So, you know, I was like, oh, okay. And they're kind of decent. So, and Slipknot came out. And everyone sort of surges to the front. And, like, crushes us. Like, uh, it was kind of mental. The, um, the force of X, you know. However many people were there behind us, just crushing down, like, it was insane. It was really quite, um, quite mental, but it was really fun, like, it's not something which you could say, you, you know, you, you do again sort of thing, in my opinion, like, I don't know, I don't know, I, I, would I do it again? I'm thinking now, I don't know if I would. I want to say that I would, just because it was, well, it's such a unique experience that, you know, Doing it once is is awesome, but like it's so ch it. I want to say it's like so challenging. It's so hard on your body and stuff. Like you really have to be prepared for it because it's crazy. Throughout the entire show, you're sort of just being pushed up against someone. Like you know, everyone just crushing forward, and I'm there just trying to push everyone. Sort of like trying to push people back so I can actually sort of breathe. The heat like coming off of everyone is insane. And it's it's pretty mental. It is pretty mental. I'm not gonna lie. It's 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 an experience. Like that's the only way you can describe it. It's an experience. A good one, a bad one. I don't really know. It was just yeah. It was a bit mental. So like the heat, you can feel the sweat. Oh my god, you are sweating buckets. By the end, you could literally like I got fairly longish hair, as you guys know. Well, you know, sort of moppy sort of hair. Um, and you know. It's, I was so soaking, I could literally like, you know, ring, I think they call it ringing, ring your hair, I guess, I don't know, like, you know, like, so, like you do with a towel to get it dry, and like, sweat would just be there dripping out, like, it's, it's actually quite crazy how sweaty I was getting, it's, uh, absolutely nuts, but, like, I don't know, I think it's worth it, the thing is, when you go to see, like, music, sort of like, you know, 
like Slipknot. If you guys want, you know, listen to a few of their songs or something, you know, check out exactly what what do I know what sort of stuff I was listening to and I'm into. Um, you know, with bands sort of like that, like being in the, you know the pit in the standing area, you sort of have to to do the do the music justice. Like going to the going to a concert like that and going to the seats, like it'd be good so you could properly appreciate the music. Um, as opposed to trying to fend for your life and, you know, not die and get crushed. But, like, that is, like, the music. The music is brutal and, you know, hard. So, you know, you, like, it's it lives... Uh, you have to live the music sort of thing in that sense. Like, I know how I'll describe it. It was really fun, though. So, like, if any of you are fans of Slipknot and are pretty, like, strong and... Uh, I don't know. It, it's just it's challenge. It was it was quite a challenge. Is, is the best way to describe it, you know, doing that because the amount of you know sweat and like pain and fear of getting crushed to death you feel is is quite insane. It's quite insane. I'm not gonna lie. It's 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 mental. And to be honest, like a couple times I thought I was gonna have to tap out and ask you know one of the security people to you know like help you know pull me over because within the first. 30 seconds, I'd say. Two girls, like, to the right of me and my sister were there, like, nah, we need, you know, help us out, sort of thing. And, like, i say just over halfway through, like, this other, like, two women next to us were like, oh, we gotta go, and to, like, walk through the crowd to the end, because it's, it, it, it's challenging. It's really a challenging thing. It's not something just anyone can do, I'd say. Oh, I mean, it's my first time in, you know, a sort of, you know, pit sort of environment sort of thing at a music concert so doing it was it was it was challenging but it was also really fun also really fun just saying then I completely outplayed them completely no I'm just gonna flash away from you oh wow oh that was insane that was um that's some range you've got there cat that's uh I just bit my summoner spell for that Lush. Anyway, um, but yeah, it was really crazy. Like at the end, I um tried to take a picture of the stage, the aftermath and stuff. And yeah, there was like someone left their shoe on the floor. I don't know what happened there, but they didn't have their shoe anymore. Um, and yeah, everything was kind of crazy. Everything was a bit mental at the show, and it, it was really fun though. It was a really fun experience. So um, yeah, I mean, their their cat arena is going off, yo. Their cat and their um their jungler as well. I'm pretty crazy. The thing is, we have like two people with smite and a, you know going for jungle. It's kind of stupid. You know, it doesn't make much sense. I should be able to die for now, unless she's gonna kill everyone. I mean, that'll be bad. Diana is like, oh my god, no, she's so fed though. She's so fed. Just oh my god, she got a quadra kill. I don't even. I don't even know. Like my teammates have not, have not really played this game too well. Basically, fed Katarina. I'm sure I've, you know, she's killed me once or twice, but you know, it's because I'm getting, you know, I can't really do much against her when she's already fed before coming towards me. They want to surrender. I don't want to surrender, but I don't know if we're gonna win. You know, I don't know if we have much hope other than surrendering. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just give up, but um, is that, like, the only option sort of thing, you know? I'm doing good in my lane. I feel. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Like, I'm not having a problem. Everyone else is having a problem in their lanes, you know? I even got Zin Zhao fed, or whatever his name is. Like, I think it's Zin Zhao. I can't... I, can't I, I, I don't know how you pronounce it. Oh. They got Rift Herald. They're gonna dive me now, I bet you. Let's just go in here and see if he tries to come at me. To be honest, I could probably take him out. Okay, let's knock her up. Let's, um, ult the minions. That's always good to do. Okay, let's go, let's go. Everyone come at me, bro. They're all top, like, I can't do anything. I tried. Um, let's build Trinity Force. Actually, now let's, let's get Boots of Swiftness. Let's go for them. Let's go for Swifties. Boots of Swiftness, there we go. Oh, I want to support. I know, like, I mean, I think our team can't really hurt us. Their Zillion is going ham, apparently. Somehow. Come on. 
Just target him, attack them, you may have low health, but you're ranged, and you can take down the Callista. Come on, hit the spear, dive onto her. You got this, nice one. Okay, be careful of them. Be like, be careful of them. Oh my god, they, they're just gonna die, aren't they? You can't, Lucian, you can't battle her. I'm not gonna surrender, because I sort of have hope. Probably shouldn't, but I sort of have hope. I mean, damn. Really, really, oh, wow. Okay, I was the only one who didn't vote, but, um, yeah. They decided to surrender. Anyway, hopefully you guys like my story about me going to see Slipknot. Really good. Really recommend if any of you want to go see them or, you know, interested about it. Look them up on YouTube as well. Their live performances, you can see how mental it sort of was. Um, Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Did please want to leave a like, comment down below as always, and subscribe for daily content. I'm your boy Kyodroy, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No, no. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I don't know what the fuck oh just God. happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. 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 Fuck